three maths lessons, upper and lower bounds. Upper and lower bounds are a measure of accuracy. For example, the width of a postcard is given as 8 cm to the nearest centimeter. The actual width of the postcard could be anything between 7.5 cm and 8.5 cm. To find the overall upper and lower bounds of the answer to a calculation, use these rules. The overall lower bound of A plus B is equal to lower bound of A plus lower bound of B. Work the example. A roll of ribbon is 100cm long, correct to two significant figures. A 21cm piece of ribbon is cut off the roll, correct to the nearest centimeter. Calculate the lower bound in centimeters for the correct amount of ribbon remaining on the roll. If you're answering questions about upper and lower bounds, it's a good idea to write out the upper and lower bound for all values given in the question before you start. To work out the lower bound for A minus B, you need to use the lower bound for A and the upper bound for B. Here are the upper and lower bounds. Here's the working out. Different values might be given to different degrees of accuracy. The length of the roll is correct to two significant figures or the nearest 10 centimeters. The length of the piece of cut off is correct to the nearest centimeter. Be really careful when you're working out the upper and lower bounds. Here's a question for you to try. Pause the video to answer this question. Here's the working out. Remember to use these rules to find the overall up and lower bounds. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.